Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm going to look and check right now and make sure I started recording because <laughs> this is the second time I've tried this video. Um, I'm getting really good at making videos over and over again because I keep having to make them over and over again. This is really, this is terrible. <laughs> okay, anyways. Today we're going to be talking about a terminal client for Telegram called TG. Just the letter T and the letter G. That's what it's called. I will have the GitHub page linked in the description below. I believe this is also in the AUR. So if you run Arch, you can just install it right doing yay dash capital S uh, telegram dash TG, I believe is the package name. Um, anyways, let's just go ahead and jump right into uh, what this looks like. This is, so you start this program by just running TG in your terminal. And this is what this looks like what the program looks like two columns on the left hand side you have your chats and you navigate these with vim bindings for the most part i'll talk about one that doesn't work inexplicably in a minute and you can go into your chats using l which is or you can also use the arrow keys if you're one of those heathens that use arrow keys um but you can jump up and down using uh, j and k and it's very simple to navigate with your Vim keys. Now, if you want to go to the bottom of your chat, let's say you've navigated all the way up here somewhere, and you know you're just uh, you know just reading along, and then all of a sudden you want to go to the bottom. Shift G works, or you know capital G goes to the bottom. Now, if you're back over here in the chats, and you want to go to the bottom, uh, you can't just hit Shift G. I'm not sure why that doesn't work, but if you're at the bottom and you want to go to the top, you can press GG and that will take you to the top. So that's a little inconsistent, which bothers me. Um, but, you know, what can you do? And it's really weird because you can't actually go through and remap any of these keys. So at least as far as I can figure out, this is written in Python. So maybe you, if you know some Python, you probably could figure out how to do it. Um, if you want help, you just push the question mark uh key and where you are in the program will determine what help you get so if you're in the chat window if you're in the chat list of chats this is the one that you get so it you know it, it shows you how to move up and down between the chats you can move uh, up 10 chats down 10, 10 chats by using capital j and uh, capital k uh, you can view your contacts in this thing so you can create new chats you can delete chats you can go to the top chat you can um, toggle mute which is really um yeah, it's fairly useless in this program because there's no notifications at all. Um, but you could do that if you if you use this in con, you know conjunction with the main Linux uh, Telegram client, because um, those things kind of transfer over. Uh, you can also toggle the red and unread status of the chats. Um, so if you're in the a chat window and you press that help, you get way more options. So you can toggle. A select message now so select and jump to the next message with a space um, you can uh, jump 10, 10 messages down and up with the capital J and K you can re reply with a long message which is a capital R I'll talk about the replying and writing messages here in a second um, you can delete your own messages you can open URLs um, these ones here are very interesting if you have a mail cap file set you can send audio uh, uncompressed audio animations which is would be a gif or an image you can also i believe there's also a f way to do a file that way um you can uh, edit messages using the e and so on so this is basically all the help is there's no man page or anything like that there is a little bit of stuff for the configuration file on the github page which i'll show you in a second um which i closed that page already because so i'm gonna have to find it again uh, I closed it because I already recorded this video once, but forgot to hit record in OBS like a dumbass. <laughs> Anyways, so let's talk about the main thing. So let's say you want to write a message. You can do that by pressing A. Now, you probably can't see this on the video because it's really, really small. Um, I, I, if, if you uh, press A, you can see the little blinking cursor down here. This is a message. And you just type that and you hit enter and it would send it. I'm not, I'm not going to send that to the Arco um, or the Arco group. That would be uh, very interesting. And you just press escape to get out of that mode, just like you would like insert mode or whatever in Vim. 
If you want to, if you want to send a longer message that would include like spaces, you can do capital A, and that'll take you to Vim, uh, and you can just type this is a message. And while if you sent that, which I'm not going to again, uh, if you sent that in, here in TG, it would just look like a regular message. But if you went to the, after sending that, went to the official Telegram client, you would notice that it actually maintained the formatting so that you did like spaces. It would maintain those spaces, um, which is really cool. Now, reply works the same way, only with R and capital R. So if I wanted to reply to this message here, I just hit R and this say reply and, uh, you know, like that, or get out of that and do capital R and this is a reply. Okay. So that is very simply how you reply and send new messages. Um, overall, uh, why would you use this? So I just prefer Telegram in uh, the terminal just because I'm a nerd and I like terminal programs. I mean, if you ask, you know, Martin, my co-host on Linux cast, uh, he'll tell you that <laughs> I look for everything I can use in the terminal just because, you know, that's the way I am. Um, does this have any specific advantages over using the other one? Not really. Uh, Telegram is not a huge like memory hog or anything as far as I know. Um, but if you want to be cool, use the, tel use the terminal program TG. Uh, and, you know, just be cool like the rest of us. That's where you should be. Anyways, that was just a real quick video on a really simple program. If you liked it, you'll want to hit the thumbs up button. If you disliked it, hit the thumbs down button. Hit subscribe if you're interested in finding more open source and Linuxy type content. Coming up, there's going to be a video on my audio problems because I've been having some audio problems. Uh, I got a new audio interface and it's just not been a kind to me in terms of you know actually working so i'm using it now but it's not uh mm, you know it, it's, it's not been something that i've been happy with so far anyway so uh thanks for watching and we'll see you next time